midweek and of course you know what we're about to get into right we're about to get into what is trending on social media so let's get into it yeah remember last year at medical sodium concert something happened an accident happened speakers fell on some fans at the concert now one of the fans who was injured at the concert is still at the hospital you guys he has explained that he's going through a lot for the past three months he has been through a lot and has been abandoned by the management of medical he further explained that he is suffering so much and has pleaded to the general public to help him. Now one of medical's management has said that he is going to visit him in the hospital today and settle his hospital bills. So anything that happens, we are going to bring it right here to you. Christians and Muslims all came together to fast and pray for the nation and also fight against coronavirus. Now the traditionalists are also doing their part. In a video posted by Nkonko Saji is, we saw traditionalists who were pouring libation like their guns, their airways, like the traditional, they were all pouring libation at the Independence Square. Pray to the gods to protect the nation and also fight against coronavirus. So with updates on coronavirus, now out of 152 cases that were reported in Ghana, 31 patients have recovered and are doing just fine and we are all hoping and praying that anybody who has come in contact with the virus will also recover and do just fine. It's day three of the lockdown in Ghana and Nigeria and of course everybody is staying in their houses just so they could be safe but some stubborn citizens decided to go outside not to do anything but just to watch what is going around and all of that and I'm sure you've all seen videos circulating on social media of military men and policemen who are beating anybody they, they, they meet they don't care whether you're grown up they don't care whether you're a kid or what they just be beating you anyhow. Ghanaian artist Ako Nana has pleaded with the government to stop the military men and policemen from physically assaulting people I mean they don't care whether you're grown up they just be assaulting you like that mr president i'll use this platform to plead with you to talk to the forces the military the police that Ghanaians are humans and we are one people seeing videos around military warning civilians that when you are spot found on the street you'll be beaten you'll be this we don't need it now this is time for us to educate people but not to treat people like animal any military any police that more treat any civilian should be arrested immediately and i'm pleading we don't have systems in place so he's pleading with the government for them to stop assaulting people because personally some sad videos are going on social media that i mean like when you see you will feel sad if it was your mom or if it was your dad who was i mean doing that would you have whipped them i think this should stop Saying the military men beating them is no good doesn't mean the citizens should just go outside and be watching people who have, have gone outside. The government is asking you to stay home just because they want you to be safe for people who haven't contacted the virus yet. So can we please listen to the government and stay at home? Still on lockdown, Nigerian actress Ada Ame is so pissed off. I mean, she's so angry. If I'm talking angry, I mean so angry. So she said that apparently the government is asking for lockdown, asking people to stay home and everything. But there is no light, generator everywhere. It is so bothering them. Let's check the video out. Truly, I'm, I'm very, 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 very upset. And as a matter of fact, I feel like crying. What kind of country is this? What is it? You said people should stay at home. We all understand that this coronavirus is killing and it's everywhere. But what kind of a country is this for God's sake? Why is it that nothing, why is it that something, something cannot walk, walk in this country? There's no light. People are sitting at home. Some people bought perishable yesterday and tried to stock their houses for them to stay. And everywhere is generator sound. 
We are doing everything humanly possible within our reach to encourage people to sit at home, tell them the danger of this. And for God's sake, give light. Government, give us light. Give light. Yo, that video right there got over 5,000 comments and there is a lot of people are saying that she spoke the mind of over 40 million Nigerian citizens. Like, this is hella crazy. Provide light, please. Nigerian artist Benna Boy is back at it again with the back at it again, you guys. So apparently he threw a challenge on Twitter that said that ask Burner. A fan asks that if you are to go on a hit battle with any fellow Nigerian artist, who would that be? Now he came out to reply that I don't really know what a hit battle is, but I'm willing to go toe to toe with any worthy challenger, lyrically, musically, physically, however they want it. And then Ricardo Barnes came to reply that I'm game that energy. Let's get it. So Bernard Boy disappointedly came to reply that you know I got too much love for you, bro. But didn't you see what I said? Worthy challenger yo that was too much bro that was like a, a big blow man damn a boy i mean like people are hitting on him and nigerians are saying that if he doesn't take care he's going to see pepe in his eyes so please burn boy nigerians are telling you to humble yourself Nollywood actress Regina Daniels and her billionaire husband Ned Walker are expecting their first child ain't that amazing congratulations going out to the couple News anchor Chris Cuomo of one of the biggest media platform in the world, you guys, CNN, has tested positive for coronavirus. Now, people are reacting to this and they are saying that they are seeing the necessity for all the workers should also go and test for the virus. Yesterday marks exactly one year American rapper Nipsey Hussle got shot, you guys. It is so sad. Yesterday, I was so sad myself. And a lot of people took to social media to celebrate him. Of course, we are forever going to celebrate you, Nipsey. Rest in peace. And the marathon continues. On this note, that's it for today, guys. But don't worry. I'll come your way next time with what is trending on social media right here on social media. Trend. Follow us on our social media handles on Facebook at VNTV and on Instagram at VNationTV. Until next time, stay safe. Bye.